Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sean's video. Um, this video I will share the experience how to get the shape file running in Rhino. From that process, you can export it to 3D S Max, 3D modeling software. In this exercise, it may be a little bit old fashioned, but the main point is um, to understanding how the data in Rhino and can talk to um, Orient, talk to Shapefile, talk to Excel, how the data work together to understand the data structure between softwares. So, so uh, let's begin. Jen, I got the um, Elk running. So um, that plugin is actually capturing the OpenStreetMap data. Jen, narrate the um, buildings and also street networks but the open street map is an open source and it needs the people contribute the data inside so we got the site in northern uh, in the southern side of melbourne which is carnegie um so in that particular space is not much data being contributed and also that happens many many places in Victoria. What I'm trying to do is try to fill out this map as the official data and is a reliable source um, we can download from Orin. We can have the shape file from the Melbourne water. Um, first of all we set the bounding box and we browse and we just type in um, footprint, map of water, um, flat mapping, building footprints. We need the geometry, of course, is the building outline, and also we need each um, average building height. So I just easily um, add to data set and try to download that from Orin, import it to um, Rhino Grasshopper. Yes. So that's the data we need, the average building height, they are in meters, I believe, and geometry doesn't show us because it's just in um, cat format. Um, so it's done as a shape file. So we got that shape file here. So let me save in somewhere. That's the one we need. But before we import it to um, Rhino, we need to use QGIS. So um, we need um, QGIS to setting up um, the projection. Um, because if we jump into Grasshopper straight away, uh, the projection may not be the one we want. So um, depends on the data source you're coming from. Yes, in the safe uh, way to doing it, uh, we should uh, put it into um, QGIS and save as and um, Export the feature as the um, projection. See the CIS is unknown. We're gonna use a zoom zone fifty five two a three double five. So um, yeah, looks good. Yep, just rename it in a popping way. So. Once we get that exported, um, we can start to put it in. Um, first of all, um, the command we need to use is read shape file. Import shape file. And we set a file path. And of course, need to referencing that. So we put it in. Um, the coordinate system is different. 
um, the easy way to find that L is put geometry in. Um, so take a look, point, curve, I set the curve. So we've got the geometry here. I just easy to bake it and I should be says a group. Yes, please. Stop asking. Stop asking. So I just put control A to select the whole thing inside. So now my rhino should be none except for those curves. So you've got 8,877 curves. So I uh, just select zoom. Zoom that curve. Try to group it. So what we're gonna do is we set the point along here. So we use the copy command. Copy the base point here. Point copy to zero zero zero. That's our project. Um, that's our project base point. So and then I hide this and the stack again. So we got another point because I hide the previous layer. And I select all, I got the one point and, and, and another 8,000 curve selection. So let me zoom in. See, we get to, we managed it to move that across. So now we need to um, do some fine, fine tuning um, manually because I don't have the um, coordinate point set up, but um, that should be easy enough because there before we changed the projection, so everything inside the shape file should be the correct projection. Also, we can use the um, existing building. We've got the point here in the other baked it shape file. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be everything is automate. So I just delete that curve and we leave the point here. I lock the point and unhide show objects, select it. So I select the previous one. So I just Delete that because those two points are referenced together. Bring the grasshopper up again. So I do the point. So we say point one. Set so the point one. 